Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be unboxing a first from Skylar Bibles. Not only a first, but a first in two different ways. This is the first time they've released a Bible in marbled Merlot calfskin, and it's the first time that they've released the personal size Quintel with a full Yap cover. Tearing this open. Ooh, I got some peanuts. Are you ready? Goes. One peanut. One peanut fell out. Ooh, okay. Okay, and man, I love the look of the personal size Quintel with the full yap. There you see the yap. Okay, I'm really excited about this one. This box just showed up from Skylar Bibles. Now, I have already done a review of the Bible that is inside here. It's the NASB personal size Quintel. I've actually reviewed the ESV PSQ, the NIV PSQ, the NASB PSQ. I've done a lot of PSQ Bible reviews. The PSQ is the personal size Quintel. It's the smaller edition of their full size Quintel, but They've recently done a new batch of the NASB personal size Quintels, and this batch of Bibles had two firsts for them. A, it's the first time they've done a Bible in a new marbled Merlot calfskin, and B, it's the first time they've done a PSQ with a full Yap cover. Now, they've done the personal size Canterbury in a full Yap cover, but I, I really like the full Yap covers from Skylar. Like, I like them a lot. I think it's one of the best things that they do. And now they're releasing the PSQs for the first time with that style. And I have been told by the folks at Skylar that from here on out, all of their personal size and regular size Bibles are going to be released with full Yap options in addition to regular size Yap options, which is really great. I don't think they're gonna do that for the big boys, the wide margins, but for the small ones and the regular size ones, full Yap is gonna be an option. So I thought, man, I've already reviewed this Bible. I've, I've got a lot of PSQs lying around, but I don't have one with a full yap. I want to see that. I don't. I, this is the first time they've done this new marbled Merlot calfskin. I've, I've showed you the marbled um, mahogany calfskin. I'll put a picture in there. They've got a few different Bibles with marbled mahogany calfskin. I recently did the black pearl calfskin when they came out with that. So I wanted to check out this new color because I think it's going to be... They're obviously trying some new things with colors and styles, things like that. So this is going to be really fun. Check it out. Are you ready? I've got my V cam right here. What's up? Let's dive in. Boxes always come nicely, safely packaged from evangelicalbible.com. Tearing this open. Ooh, I got some peanuts. Let's put my knife down. A few peanuts in there. I'm just gonna try to, let's see if I can get the peanuts not to fall out of the box. That was a pro move. There's not too many peanuts, but now I gotta see if I can close this up and do the box toss without letting the peanuts fly. Are you ready? Goes. One peanut. One peanut fell out. I did, that's pretty good. Okay. Let me see if I can get this open. Nicely packaged up. You might be able to hear in the background. I don't know if it's coming through on the microphone, but there is a major thunderstorm happening outside my house right now, so I might lose power and have to start over. Skylar pre-order. Thank you. I think that says Melissa. Appreciate it. Really nice Skylar box. There you see it says Skylar Bibles. It's got the Jerusalem cross on the cover. And there you see NASB, personal size can tell, marbled Merlot calfskin, full yap. I'm really, really excited about this. Clamshell cover, here we go. Oh, wrapped up. Set this to the side. Marbled Merlot. I'm, I, it kind of looked purple in some of the pictures, kind of like a purplish. Bert, ooh, okay, okay, wow, a very, very deep, dark, brownish, reddish, purplish, I'm not sure, can you see that? It looks pretty brown on the camera, but it's kind of like a deep, I mean, Merlot, like you think of the Merlot wine, the really deep, deep, deep red, it's got a little bit more red, you know what I'm going to do? I'm wired in here, hold on a second. I've got a Bible back here. I just kicked my light. Going off book here. I've got a Bible back here. I'm going to throw another PSQ on the ground. Fix my light. This, you can barely see a difference. This is the marbled mahogany calfskin. Kind of that brown look right there. This is the Merlot. Can you, see? yeah, you can see it there. See how it's just got a little bit more of a purplish reddish hue to it? Can you see it on this one better? It's got a little bit more of a deep reddish purple it's very, very close to the, the marbled mahogany, but the marbled Merlot has more of a, a hue to it. It got like a deep purple liner on the inside, and it's gonna have, let's see here, yep, 
It's got these nice maroon ribbons. It's a different touch than the brown. So like this, look at that, a couple of red ribbons, kind of a deep red, like purplish red, whereas the, this is the Traveris from a couple years ago that has the brown and the gold ribbons on there. Yeah, just a little bit more reddish purplish. That is, that is really nice. I'm gonna set this over here, get this out of the way. And man, I love the look of the personal size Quintel with the full yap. There you see the yap, the leather that goes all the way around and touches around the outside. Again, I have the, this is an older Traveris pre full yap. So you see when I press that together, it doesn't touch all the way. It's got a little bit of extra yap on there, but it doesn't touch all the way. Whereas this one, it's gonna touch all the way around. And I like the other thing that they do with their full yap Bibles at Skylar is they do a perimeter stitch like the normal ones, but then they also give you a tooled line around the outside. See that line? So there's the stitch around the edge and the tooled line. I think that looks really, really nice. Still has the raised spine hubs, gold printing there on the side, Holy Bible, New American Standard, and the Skylar logo, the Jerusalem cross. Really beautiful. This one has red under gold art gildings. There you see the red edges and the gold. Beautiful standard PSQ with the eight and a half point type size, Milo typeface, cross references at the bottom of the page with the red accents on the page. There's some, some poetic type there in the Psalms. You can kind of see that. And then I'll flip back over here and give you some more of the paragraph format. So you see that's the cross-references down here at the very bottom with the textual footnotes, red accents on the page. Really readable for only being an eight and a half point type, and it's a really, really small, compact Bible. I have an NIV personal size quintel. My, my pastor, Pastor Ray, preaches from the NIV, so I take my NIV PSQ with me to church every Sunday. It's really become like my go-to church Bible because it's small, easy to carry in a bag or in my guitar case if I'm leading worship, but then I can still read it really well, which I appreciate. But man, I love the look of this. I think you can see how it just kind of opens up a little bit wider with that full yap. It kind of stretches. See how wide that is? It just adds a little bit of a difference to it. And I don't know, I just, I think that the extra tooled line around the edge, plus the perimeter stitch, the extra, I, I'll be honest with you, when I first started reviewing Bibles, I was not a big fan of full yap. Like I just, I was like, eh, take it or leave it, I would leave it, right? But Skylar kind of has changed my mind about that since they started doing this in the last year or two. I just think it looks really, really sharp. I mean, back there I have one, two, three, I have four or five Skylar Bibles back there and I, I've hang, hung on to, hanged on, I don't know what the word is, to the ones that have the full app because I just like the look and the feel of them a little bit better. But this one is a very, very smooth calfskin. So the difference between calfskin and goatskin, the calfskin to me has a little bit of a smoother texture um, it's not as pebbly and grainy, although there are some, if you watch my Black Pearl Calfskin Canterbury video, really interesting grain pattern on this one. But this one is like very smooth. What I think about with calfskin, to me, that makes me want to be a little bit more careful with it because I'm, I think it's a little bit more susceptible to, to bumps and bruises and scrapes and things like that. So I'm always more careful with those. But this looks really, really nice. I think I was expecting, based on the photos, a little bit like redder, a little bit more purple, where really this feels... Um, like, like, man, I'm trying to see if it looks different in a different light, but it's like a, it's, it's got a more reddish brown hue to it, but it's definitely different than the brown here on the marbled mahogany, but it's, it's just not, not as red as I was expecting. But honestly, when I think about that, I'm not a huge like red Bible fan or purple Bible fan, so I think that I'm going to like this in the long run even better, but, um, man, I really, really like that. Just the overall look and the feel, again, a Bible that I've already reviewed, I'll put a link to the full review of the NASB Personal Size Quintel in the video description of this video so you can check out all the specs and get a closer look at it, the overhead videos that I do when I do a full review. But I just thought it would be fun to get a copy of this to see some of the new things that they're trying. Yes, first time they've done a full YAP Personal Size Quintel and that's gonna become a standard option that you can get from Skylar. First time they've done this marbled Merlot calfskin. I, I think I saw Sky, the owner, posting about some other leathers that they were checking out with some different colors and calfskins and goatskins. So I'm excited to see what they come out with in the future. Um, this Bible, as far as first impression goes, 
very, very nice quality. If you do not have a Schuyler Bible, I tell people they're right, they're, you know, the, the, the super premium Bible, Schuyler, Cambridge, R.L. Allen, they're right there at the top and just very, very impressive build quality, the, the materials they use, the craftsmanship, the attention to detail in a Schuyler Bible is really impressive. I've seen so many of them now that I'm probably not as impressed in the unboxing moment as most people would be because if you get one of these for the first time, you get it for a gift for someone. It's just a really, really impressive Bible. Great paper, great overall look and feel. Yeah, so that is the Marbled Merlot Calfskin Edition Full Yap of the Personal Size Quintel New American Standard Bible. They've got more um, PSQs and other translations, I think five or six different translations, and they continue to print new copies of those. And as they do, there'll be some Full Yap options in those as well. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment and let me know. If you've already gotten one of these, they just sent these out. They just arrived uh, from Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands. So if, if you got one of these already, I want to hear about that in the comments. Maybe if you got a different color or something like that, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you have any questions, drop those in there. I will get back to you personally with an answer. As always, you can go down to the video description. I'll put links to where you can purchase one of these. I'm going to put some links to other videos, other Skylar Bibles videos that I've done, other unboxing videos. If you've enjoyed this, if you enjoy the videos on my channel, I would appreciate it if you would hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. That'll let you know when new videos are available. You can follow along with me here on YouTube. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook. We've got a great, great community out there on social media that I would love for you to be a part of. So come find me on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.